Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about properties of S matrix or scattering matrix. So just before going to see the properties of scattering matrix, let us recall what do you mean by scattering matrix and what is the purpose of scattering matrix in the microwave communication. See here, S matrix. S stands for scattering matrix scattering matrix it is indicated by square brackets of s yes. s yes in square brackets so s is nothing but b by a s is nothing but b by a S is equal to B by A. What do you mean by B by A? If you have any junction, a microwave junction, it is having n number of ports. It may be having n number of ports or any number of ports. Let us consider a two-port network, a two-port microwave junction. This is the input port and this is the port 1 or we can say it is port 1, it is port 2. And a signal that is incident onto this port, we represent it as A1 and the signal reflected back from this port 1 is represented as B1. If the signal enters from the port 2, that is represented as A2 and the signal that is reflected from port 2, that is rep uh, represented by B2. So, B represents, B represents the reflected wave b represents the reflected wave and a represents what do you mean by a a represents incident wave a represents the incident wave and s is the ratio of reflected wave by incident wave suppose if there is no reflection perfectly matched termination is there there is no reflection okay impress mismatch is not there then what happens s matrix parameter is simply zero there is no scattering matrix there is no scattering parameter okay the reflection is not there so no scattering s is equal to zero that entire input signal whatever that has been incident at the port that is completely going inside okay so now let us see what are the different uh, uh, properties associated with this S matrix. See, these properties are very helpful in the calculation of uh, the scattering matrix parameters for various uh, T junctions. Okay, in the next class onwards, so we will see what are the different uh, microwave T junctions, E plane T junction, H plane T junction, EH plane T junction, hybrid junction. Okay, for all these and uh, in future, we will also see gyrator, circulator, isolator like that. For all such type of microwave components, all these scattering parameters need to be calculated. So, in that calculation, the properties plays a crucial role. Okay, so that's why it is very necessary to cal to know what are the different properties that a S matrix has. Okay, so now let us see properties of S matrix properties of s yes matrix first property scattering matrix scattering matrix is always scattering matrix is always a square matrix a scattering matrix is always a square matrix it has an order of n by n. So, the order of a scattering matrix is n by n. So, we can say S is having an order n by n. That means, generally it is having S11, S12, S13 and so on. S1n and here it is 2n1, 2s2n, 
Yes. Um. Two two S two one S two two S two three and so on S two n and it is S three one S three two S three three and so on S three n and in the similar way it is S n one S n two S n three and so on S n n so that's why it is having a size of n by n. Okay, n is of any number, n by n, n rows and n columns. Now coming to the second property, second property is nothing but S matrix is a unitary matrix. S matrix is a unitary matrix. That means S into S star is equal to I. S into S star is equal to I. Okay. So what do you mean by I? I is nothing but identity matrix. I is nothing but identity matrix where I is identity matrix. We know identity matrix is having ones in diagonal and remaining all values are zero. But this identity matrix is having the same order as yes, same order as yes. It is having the same order as we are having the yes. That means n by n means n by n only. And yes star. What do you mean by yes star? Yes star is the complex conjugate. Complex conjugate of Yes, complex conjugate of yes. Sir. Suppose if yes is having a size of two by two, that is yes one one, yes one two, yes two one, yes two two, then <coughs> yes star two by two is equal to. It will be also having a phase shift of individual parameters like this. S11, S12, S21, S22. Like this. <coughs> okay. For example. This is the second property. And the third property is scattering matrix Possess property of symmetry. <coughs> property of symmetry. <coughs> that is, yes, ij is equal to yes. J I okay. Suppose when you are simplifying, when you are simplifying the magic T junctions or different types of T junctions, then you can simply replace, uh, for example, yes one two is equal to yes two one. Or yes, three two is equal to yes two three like this. Okay, so that what happens? Suppose when you are going for the calculation of different parameters, individual values of these scattering parameters, you no need to calculate two para two values. You can calculate only one value. Instead of calculating yes three two yes two three, just one value is sufficient to calculate. Okay, so that it will be reducing the number of values. That you are able to calculate. So that is third property, and the fourth property is summation of i is equal to one to n. Yes, i j, yes, i k star 
is equal to 0 is equal to 0 summation of i equal to 1 to n s i j into s i k star is equal to 0 for j not equal to k for j not equal to k that means j comma k is equal to 1 2 3 and so on n the values for this j and k are any integer value from 1 to n that is the sum of products between that is the sum of products between any row and column with complex conjugate of any other row or column is 0. Hope you understand. See, the last statement says that the summation of i equal to 1 to n, sij into sik star is equal to 0. For all the values of j and k, 1 to n, where j and k should not be equal. <coughs> okay. Uh, that means, uh, for example, we can say s 1 2 into s 1 3 star is equal to 0. Okay, that is the sum of products between any row and column, the sum of products between any row and column with the complex conjugate of any other row or column is 0. Here I have taken only one thing, you can extend this with the summation like s 2 3 into s 2 4 star. So like this sum that is equal to 0. Okay, sum of products between any row and column with the complex conjugate of any row and column with is equal to 0. Okay, so these are the four different and important properties of the tree matrix which are helpful when we are going for the calculation of scattering matrix of different T junctions or any type of microwave component. Thank you.